There's a smarter way to build today. A way that provides speed, beauty, durability, and economy. It's called tilt-up concrete construction. And it's an economical and efficient method to build a structure with all of the attributes owners, developers, architects, and engineers want in their building. In tilt-up construction, concrete wall sections are cast horizontally on site, then lifted vertically into position in the structure. Tilt-up construction has been around since the turn of the century when Robert Aiken pioneered the use of the tilt table. But this construction technique became prominent after World War II with the advent of ready-mix concrete, the mobile crane, the concrete pump, improved lifting and bracing hardware, and new finishing techniques, all which have fueled the growth of the concept. Modern tilt-up construction techniques were perfected in California. Tilt-up quickly spread throughout the West and South, and subsequently to all of the U.S. and beyond. Today, more and more architects are using tilt-up for a greater variety of building types. A successful tilt-up project begins long before the first panel is cast. Panel layout, staging and movement of materials, and the erection sequence are just a few of the many tasks that must be decided before construction begins. A proper subgrade is important. If the crane is to operate on the slab, the slab and subgrade must be designed and constructed to accommodate crane and outrigger loads. Since the majority of tilt-up panels are cast directly on the finished floor, care must be taken to ensure a flat, smooth concrete slab. Control joints can be cut and filled using standard construction techniques and materials. Make certain that any curing compounds used are compatible with a bond breaker, admixture, or any other chemicals used. The type and size of footing used depends on the total load the footing must support and the soil conditions at the job site. Exact location and elevations of the panels on the footings are determined and marked prior to lifting. Offsets in the top of the footing or a placement rod may be cast into the footing to aid in the placement of the panel. Pad footings are occasionally used since the size and depth of the tilt-up panel can be used as a beam to span between pads. Pilings or piers with a cap can be used in unstable soil conditions. Panels may be formed using a variety of methods. Panels may be formed individually or in long walls with a common divider strip. An advantage of the common divider strip is that adjacent panel edges always match. If floor space is limited, panels may be cast on a casting slab or stack cast on top of one another. In either case, proper planning ahead of time will ensure an efficient and successful construction process. Dimension lumber is the most common material used for forming. Panel thickness is typically based on the actual lumber dimensions and engineering analysis. A variety of form bracing and attachment methods are used, including wood and metal braces. Forms are usually anchored to the floor by drilling holes and securing them with screws or nails. Camphor strips are added to produce clean corners. Accent strips are added to produce special effects. Caulking the joint between the form and floor prevents paste from flowing through the joints. Blockouts for windows and doors typically use the same dimension lumber as the side forms. Doors and window frames can be cast directly into the panel. Special finishes such as form liners and thin bricks would be placed at this time. A bond breaker is applied to ensure easy release of the panel after casting. Make sure that manufacturer's recommendations are followed and compatibility with other chemicals such as curing compounds is checked before casting. 
Steel reinforcement for the panels is determined by the project engineer and is designed for in-place loading conditions. The major suppliers of tilt-up hardware provide engineering support for the design of the lifting, bracing, and rigging requirements of each panel. The reinforcement can be pre-tied as a mat and lifted into place, or it can be tied in place. Reinforcement support chairs should have legs that will not rust since the tip of the chair is typically exposed. Lifting and bracing inserts and any required anchor plates are installed and secured to the reinforcement within the panel. The method used for concrete placement depends on site access. Pumping is becoming the standard for concrete placement. It's quick, efficient, and provides accessibility to the entire casting area. Ensure concrete procedures for both hot and cold weather concrete are followed. Insulated sandwich panels, typically cast in two separate operations, are becoming common in tilt-up buildings. The lifting day is the most anticipated and exciting day on a tilt-up job site. Panels can be lifted when the concrete has reached a predetermined strength, usually around 2,500 pounds per square inch. This is determined by testing beam or cylinder samples that were cast with the panels. Mix design, weather, and curing method can all alter the curing period. A meeting should be held before panel erection commences to ensure that all crew members are familiar with lift procedures and safety measures. Prior to lifting, the lifting and bracing inserts are located and cleaned and checked for proper location. Braces are attached and adjusted for proper length. Care should be taken to prevent stress on the insert. Rigging is then attached to the panels. Lifting the first panel is always an exciting event. Panels are usually lifted from inside the structure. However, they can be lifted from outside the structure if necessary. Panels are usually set on grouted beds or high compression plastic shims. Once panels are lifted and in place, they are adjusted for height and alignment. After adjustment, the braces are attached to the slab. The rigging is released from the ground using special hardware, eliminating the need to climb ladders. The braces remain in place until the engineer of record indicates that they can be removed. This typically does not occur until the roof structure and deck are installed. Bridging or other intermediate support may be necessary depending on the length of the braces. Once erected, the brace attachments should be checked daily for tightness. The gap between the setting pads must be filled with grout to evenly distribute loads along the bottom of the panel to the footing system. Steel joists and deck roofing systems are the most commonly used system for tilt-up buildings. However, wood truss and deck systems or hybrid systems consisting of steel joists and wood decks are common on the west coast of the U.S. The roof members are attached to ledger beams or bearing plates cast into the structural wall. Cleaning and patching can begin once the panels have been erected and braced. This may include high pressure washing or sandblasting depending on the finish desired and bond breaker used. Any imperfections can be removed or filled after the panels have been erected. At this point, the closure strip, the section of floor between the main floor slab and the panel that exists with some footing systems is poured. Gaps between panels should be filled with a backer rod and caulking system. This ensures a weather-tight installation. Holes in the floor left from brace and form anchors are easily filled with caulk or grout, depending on the floor use. Paint is the most common finish on tilt-up panels. Painting can begin when all traces of the bond breaker have been removed and the moisture and pH level in the panel has reached acceptable levels. Aggregate on exposed finishes is typically exposed immediately after the panels are erected. Retarders can dissipate in the open air, causing the concrete surfaces to harden. 
No other building method can offer the combined economy, durability, speed, and beauty of a tilt-up building. Contact a contractor experienced in tilt-up to find out why tilt-up is the smart choice for your next building project. For more information or the name of a designer or contractor in your area, contact the Tilt-Up Concrete Association at 319-895-6911 or visit our website at www.tilt-up.org.